you'll always be my favorite joy buzzer. Styles keep a changing, the world's rearranging, but Edna, you're timeless to me. Hemlines are shorter, a beer costs a quarter, but time cannot take what comes free. You're like a stinky old cheese, babe, just getting riper with age. You're like a fatal disease, babe, but there's no cure, so let this fever rage. Some folks can't stand it, say time is abandoned, but I hold the opposite view. Cause when I need a lift, time gives a gift. Another day with you. A twist or a waltz, it's all the same schmaltz with just a change in the scenery. You'll never be old hat, that's that. You're timeless to me. Take it away, honey! Whoa, 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 whoa. Rush hour traffic! <laughs> Hiya, ladies! Since I got that new shipment of exploding bubblegum, business downstairs has been booming! <laughs> How are my two funny honeys, huh? You stop, Wilbur. You're the funny one. <laughs> Daddy, tomorrow I'm auditioning to dance on a TV show. You're going to have to go further than that to get around me, young lady. No one's auditioning for anything. And what did I tell you about that hair? I'll rat it up like a teenage Jezebel. Mother, you are so 50s. Even our first lady, Jackie B. Kennedy, rats her hair. Yeah? Well, you ain't no first lady, are you? She's a hair hopper, that's what she is. And it got her put into detention again. Wilbur, talk to her. Girls like Tracy, people like us, you know what I'm saying. They don't put people like us on television except to be laughed at. Tracy, this, uh, this, this TV thing, you really want it? It's my dream, Daddy. Then... You go for it! <laughs> Edna, this is America, babe. You gotta think big to be big. Being big is not the problem, Wilbur. When I was your age, my parents begged me to run away with the circus. But I said, no, that's what you want. I've got dreams of my own. I dreamt of opening a chain of joke shops around the world. <laughs> so, okay, I've only got one. But, someday... If I can figure out how to keep the air from leaking out of my sofa-sized whoopee cushion, I'm going to make a noise heard round the world. You follow your dream, babe. I'm grabbing a noise crush and headed back down to the hearty heart hut. <laughs> I've got my dream. And I love it! <laughs> You're not helping, Wilbur. <laughs> I'm closing up. Oh, Wilbur, my stomach's in knots. My nerves are on edge. Calm down, sweetheart. I can't calm down. There are names for women who abandoned their daughters who've gotten themselves arrested for trying to integrate an after-school sock cop type television show. Yes, there are names, and Hallmark does not make a card for any of them. You can't worry about people calling you names. <laughs> you know how many times I've been called crazy? Well, I say, yeah, crazy. Crazy like a loon. Anyway... We haven't abandoned her. In fact, I got just what Tracy needs right here. Stand back. Huh? What do you think? Isn't it a doozy? Impressive. But how's that little thing going to help our Tracy? Yeah, you'll be surprised. Oh, sure. You're a visionary inventor saving the day. Tracy's a teen idol reshaping the world. And what am I? I had a dream, too, you know. I used to make all my own clothes, remember? until I wandered beyond the boundaries of the largest McCall's pattern. But I always dreamed that one day I would put out my own line of queen size dress patterns. You were good, Edna. Yeah, and what's it gotten me? 20 years later, I'm still washing and mending and ironing everyone else's clothing. One day, Edna. No day, Wilbur. My time's <sighs> come and gone. I'm a worn out old pair of bobby socks and the elastic's all stretched. Oh, Wilbur, I suddenly feel so old. Oh, nonsense. You're as spry as a slinky. Whenever I'm near you, it's like 
grabbing hold of a giant joy buzzer.